a part of a cohesive whole. Cut off a finger. Cut a finger off. It will not be able to be reconnected to the hand and survive after 10 to 12 hours. And that's only if it's been put on ice. It would be a lot less otherwise. You sever yourself from the body of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will begin dying immediately. Eventually you will cease to be either able or even willing to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know. Okay, I spent 25 years of my life when we separated away from the Lord. I know what I'm talking about. In a short matter of time, you will die as far as spiritual desire and growth are concerned. But there's good news. It's, unlike that, it's never too late to repent, to get right with the Lord, and to reconnect. It's just one about face away. Right? Repentance. Turning around. Goes right there. And you can reconnect. Increase it with the increase of God. The last part of that verse. Isaiah chapter 9. Well, we're looking to Isaiah. Let me get back to Colossians first here. Yeah. Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7. Isaiah 9, verses 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. On the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall perform this. You know, God is not stagnant. God is not stagnant. His creation is not stagnant. It is, and he is, ever increasing. The church of Jesus Christ is not intended to be stagnant either. Nor are its individual members to be ever stagnant. The potential for spiritual growth in this mortal life is inexhaustible. You'll never exhaust how far you can grow in this life in Christ. No one ever has or ever will exhaust the potential for the individual to grow in Christ in this life. That's why Laodiceanism is so important to God. It majors in the minors. It excels at mediocrity. It is lukewarm, halfway, and half-hearted, and that's its goal, is those things. All right, we're going to stop there for this evening. Is there any questions, any comments, any verses that anybody would like me to repeat for them? What was the one in Ephesians, I don't know, 5, 30, but it's Ephesians 5. Ephesians 1 uh, was the first reference there, and let me find my spot here again real quick. Where was I? Ephesians 1, 22 and 23. And then Ephesians 5, 30. Those are those references. Any others? 